Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. We will look into 2024 June 2 2 and uh, we'll see here task 1 and 2. So let me begin with the evidence document task 1. Open the file J22, I mean 2422 evidence. So open the file. Make, your, make sure that your name, center number and candidate number appear on every page of this document. So insert a header or a footer and add in your candidate details, which is your name, your center number and your candidate number. Save this document in your work area as evidence, followed by your candidate number. All right, file, save as. Save it in your work area, that is your folder. as word document change the format to word document followed the evidence the file name evidence followed by your candidate number see all right next let's continue with task two document you are going to edit a document for Tawara Agricultural College. The college uses a corporate house style for all its documents. Using a suitable software, open the file J2422info. So open the file info. And here, the page setup is set to A4, por portrait orientation with 2 cm margin. Do not make any changes to these settings. And also, Four paragraph styles have already been created and applied. Again, don't make any changes to these unless instructed to do so. So leave it as such and save the document in your work area with a file name, pamphlet. File, save as. Change the format to Word document and the file name, pamphlet. All right, next, make sure it is saved in the format. That is what it, we change the rich text format to Word document. Place in your evidence document a screenshot to show this file has been saved and make sure there is evidence of this file type. Go to your folder and show the file type and provide a screenshot of this. And place it in your evidence document. Continuing, place right aligned in the header pamphlet of the pamphlet document, the text. All right, let's insert a header first. Insert blank three column header on the right placeholder. Information updated by followed by a space, then your candidate details. So information updated by followed by a space and your name, center number, followed by your candidate number. All right, that's it on the header. So delete off the other two placeholders. Next is the footer. Place right align in the footer, automated page numbers. Footer, blank three column again, highlight the placeholder on the right. Page number, current position and plane number delete off the other two placeholders close header and footer save your file mm, you just check all of these are correct according to the document there header and footer are aligned to the right margin of the page no other text or placeholders are included in the header or footer areas headers and footers are displayed on all the pages just double check Yes, it's correct. Let's move on to the next step. Select the subheading educational facilities and all the following text up to and including the paragraph ending or additional privileges. So educational facilities starts from here. Mm, let's find out where is additional privileges. So control F. Go 
there you have it place a cursor there close the navigation window and it's going to be the last third paragraph of page two all right so we're going to highlight the text until there from educational facilities all the way until additional privileges they're asking us to change the page layout so that only this text is displayed in two columns of equal width with one centimeter space between them layout tab columns more columns presets to spacing change it to one centimeter make sure it is equal with column by default this is going to be checked just in case if it is not checked you click on it click ok next TAC subhead paragraph style has already been created and applied to the four subheadings modify the TAC subhead style so you click on any of the subhead and go to home tab it shows you TAC subhead style right click modify and another modification is Font style is serif, font size 16, center align, bold and italic. So serif times New Roman, font size 16, center align, it has to be bold and italic, doesn't have underline. And then enhancement, it is just bold and italic. But if you see the text here in the document, the subheadings in the document, it has it is in all capital letters so that has to be changed so go to format font uncheck all caps under effects click ok and then line spacing is single before is zero after is three format paragraph line spacing make sure it is single before is zero after is three take a screenshot of this because you're supposed to provide a screenshot of this all right Click OK on both the window. Place this in your evidence under step 4. Right, next step. Sort the bulleted list from books to travel into alphabetical order. Highlight the list books to travel under home tab sort and sort this a to z is to sort click on it and make sure it is a paragraph and text alphabetical order is ascending order so click ok so it changes to the alphabetical order and then next format the list so that the bullets are intended 1.5 centimeter from the left margin right click paragraph indentation left set it to be 1.5 centimeter and then import the image j2422 email and place it in the paragraph beginning the college has a limited fund okay so you need to find this paragraph control f the college has limited fund there you have it place the cursor there and you can close this navigation so it says you're supposed to place it in the paragraph beginning so place the cursor in the beginning of the paragraph insert pictures choose a picture from your folder and it's from 2024 June 2 to J2422 email insert the picture you have the picture there and then the text wraps around the image format wrap text square so that it wraps around the picture and then it appears in the paragraph starting the college has a limited fund aligned to the right of the column it has to be on the right of the column and it has to be the bottom of the text in the paragraph so which means it has to be on the right of the column here but at the bottom of the paragraph so it's somewhere here so what you do is you move click on the picture and move the picture to the right 
and then drag it down to the bottom of the paragraph but make sure it is within the column and within the paragraph so in order to check if it is correct or not you can go to the view tab and check the grid lines and see if it is within the column okay so yes it is within the column you see these lines you can check the lines all right so get back to the normal view and then when clicked it opens an email editor ready to send a message to tac cambridge at cambridge.org with a subject line tawara bursary so this picture has to be converted to a hyperlink so you right click on the picture and choose for hyperlink or click on the link from the list and here choose link to choose email address and type in the email address the email address here is tac cambridge dot org and then the subject line tawara bursary okay so make sure the email address has the text starting mail to and then a colon followed by tac at cambridge.org and then you type in the Tawara bursary as subject line. So now here you are supposed to place in the evidence document a screenshot showing the link from the image, the email address and the subject line. So take, take the picture of this, I mean the print screen, take a screenshot of this and then click OK. Go back to your evidence and paste this. Okay. Let's save your file. All right, let's continue. Locate the table in the document. Delete the entire column. Okay, now let's find the doc uh, table first. Okay, it's here. Delete the entire column and contents with the heading price per week. Price per week is the third third column. So the entire column with its content must be deleted. So right click on the anywhere in that particular column. Delete cells. Delete entire column and click OK. So that particular column is deleted. Next, format the first row of the table so that it becomes a single cell with the content center aligned over three columns so highlight right click merge cells home tab align center and then it must have a light gray background 20 to 40 percent background fill so fill the color i mean fill the background with a gray which is 20 to 40 percent All right, and then format the table so that all text in each row displays on one line, which is there shouldn't be any wrap text. So you move the content to the end of the column, but make sure it doesn't go beyond the column and set it to be all the text to be in one line. The table borders and all the data must fit within the column. Just make sure it is within the column. All right, next, spell check and proofread the document. Save your file, view tab, spelling and grammar, review, sorry, review tab, spelling and grammar, and check if there are any spelling or grammar mistakes. If at all you find any of them, you change them. Or if you feel that it is not a spelling mistake or a grammar mistake, you may ignore them. Okay, and finally, save your file. Make sure the list or the table and the table are not split over two columns, over two columns or pages. Make sure the tables are within the same column and the list is in the same 
page or same column as well and then there are no widows or orphans now here the second page the first word this is an orphan because the last line of the paragraph appears as the first line of the next page so that is an orphan so in order to do that you go to Yeah, you go to home tab and you click on this paragraph setup. Okay, before that you highlight the entire document that is starting from the title all the way until the end. So the entire document you highlight, click on the paragraph setup and click on line and page breakup breaks tab. Line and page breaks tab and Tick here, tick check here, win, widows or orphan control. Click on it and click OK. Now if you notice here, the text is not just an orphan there. So it will adjust in such a way that other text that is more than a line is continued to the next page. So it is not an orphan anymore. So you make sure no other text appears like that. There are no blank pages and make sure the original styles are maintained except for the TAC subhead style which you've changed in step 4 and the spacing must be consistent between all items and save the file with the same file name with the same file name which you saved in the beginning. Finally, you will have to print your document. So you go to file, print and choose the correct printer and print. Make sure to double check your work before you print. All right. I hope that was clear. That's the end of this task. See you guys in another video. Thank you. Bye-bye.